Welcome, Lisa Hanfletti from Acupuncture Business Academy. I'm really glad that you took the time out of your busy day of just sitting around right now working on the <laughs> coronavirus to join right. me um, to help um, dispel some myths and to help inspire our community on what they can do next with their practices. So thanks for joining me. I appreciate that. Thanks, Jeffrey. I'm happy to be here, and I always appreciate what you do for the community. So hopefully together we can all uh, rise during this period of time and find the little opportunities inside of this chaos. Absolutely, and there is chaos. But yes, in, amongst this chaos, there's a lot of opportunity because the thing is, this is going to pass. This is going to go away. It may take a month, two months, three months, or longer. But as a practitioner, things are going to change. And the choice now for practitioners is, do we let it take us down this, this roller coaster of, of death to, you know, to, to let our practice close and, and, and like do nothing about it? Or do we maintain our marketing, our business acumen? So when this is over, we actually accelerate and grow and maybe even be at a better place where we are right now. Right. I agree. I think that, you know, one of the things I've done since I've had to 2007 is try to help acupuncturists who want to generate web-based income do that. And now is a great opportunity to really expand that platform and go digital. Like there are so many things that we can do and teach on a digital platform. And I think it's very underutilized and leveraging the internet is the easiest, best way to add an income stream to your business. So I think this is a great time to learn those skills. Absolutely, and in, in, in light of that, you recently did open up a Facebook group called Diversify Income Streams, and you just told me prior to this that you actually are creating a new website, uh, which is essentially a new business where you're helping practitioners embrace that tech <laughs> in their lives. <laughs> That's exactly right. Actually, in, in the Facebook group, Acupuncture Business Academy, I had, I had posted last summer about a course I wanted to do called The Practitioner's Guide to Adding Online Income. And I just asked how many people were interested. And I got an overwhelming response. So I was really excited about putting this together. And the way I do this is, you know, I have slides and I've got data and I've got research and I've got, you know, everything just all lined up. So I was working on that in between seeing patients and, you know, because I work full time and I got sidetracked with researching hemp and CBD because that, that's a whole nother story. But then the whole coronavirus thing hit and I said, you know what, I can't wait to give my slides really pretty and, and do things the way I normally would to create a course. So I just said, anybody interested in learning how to divide, diversify your income streams, head on over to this Facebook group that I just created, Diversify Your Income Streams. And I now I'm just using the Facebook units and it's totally free, completely free. I don't want to charge anything for this. I want to make sure that people get this information. And the way I make money is I request, and I may, I'm very upfront about this, is that anytime I recommend resources or tools or software programs or things like that, if I have an affiliate partnership with that particular company, to please use my referral link to do that. And then that way the company gives me a commission on whatever things that I educate other people about and refer to them. So to me, it's a win-win. It doesn't change the cost for anybody. And it's usually tools that I'm working on, I'm using myself or I've researched. So this is a great opportunity, I think, right now. And the nice thing for me is I don't have to make pretty slides. I could just get on there and just do a video. And, and I started out the, the units just reading stuff that I'd already had written down, but just hadn't made slides yet. So I'm very excited about it. Right, right, right. So, I, and, and I, I joined the group. Thank you for letting me in the group. I appreciate oh, that. Sure. I, have, yeah. I, I have yet to dive into it myself, but I definitely do think this is an opportunity for everybody out there that is watching or listening to this right now. Don't, we shouldn't put our heads under a rock and hope that this just goes away because we need to actually start looking at ways at how we can, you know, maintain this viability in our own practices. And like right. what you're doing is diversify that income stream. I'm sure, how many people do you, did you have that jumped on into that Facebook group right now? Uh, there's probably about 400 in there. And it's, it's not just for acupuncturists. Although when I'm speaking, my avatar, you know, I'm speaking to acupuncturists because sure. that's, you know, my main group. But it's also for hair salon owners and anyone who does services. You yeah. know, when you trade time for money and you're in a situation like this, and, and by the way, this is not the first time people have been in this situation. I mean, I felt, horrible for people who've had to go through fires and have lost their practices and mm -hmm. snowstorms and hurricanes and floods. So, 
and in my own case, years and years ago, I had, you know, I had a similar kind of situation where I had to leave my practice and I lost all that income and it's devastating. So having alternate streams is very important. I believe it should be taught in school. I actually believe that part of the um, practice management should be alternate streams of income. And let me just be clear. We're taught to charge for our services. That's great. We're also taught to charge for supplements and, and herbs and that kind of stuff. And that would be considered another stream of income. But what we're not taught and what I focus on is what we can teach, the knowledge that we have, which is just tremendous, how we can package that and position ourselves in the online web-based environment and bring people in through that door. So Absolutely. that's where I feel like uh, it's, it's missing. Absolutely. And I've always encouraged my own clients and all the practitioners that we chat with. There are so many amazing things that we could teach our patients, especially yes. now. I mean, you know, acupressure points for immune health, you know, herbs for immune health, uh, dietary, you know, suggestions for immune health. I see yeah. yoga teachers doing online yoga classes now remotely. Exactly. And there's no reason why we shouldn't be doing that. But I do think that part of it is, which I think is, is a niche that you're fulfilling right now, is the tech part is a huge issue for practitioners. Perfect. So thank you for stepping into that realm and helping them out with that. And then I also think there's a maybe a, you know, a lack of confidence and also a lack of what am I going to educate on, what am I going to talk about, and all of that. So there's so many different pieces to the puzzle. Um, and with that said... Um, let's just jump right into one way that you, or a couple ways that you might know about some, you know, act, act for practitioners to possibly overcome an issue that they might have around getting online. What is the biggest thing that you hear that practitioners are hitting up against when they want to get online? Well, they don't know what te technology to use. I think that's probably the biggest thing. Um, and you know, there are a lot of questions around what camera do I need or, <laughs> it, um, you know, how do I make sure it's HIPAA compliant, all that kind of stuff. And there are strategic ways to deal with that that, that are very simple. But before you jump into that, you can just use your phone. Mm -hmm. Like we don't have to overcomplicate things. You can pick up the phone and call your patient and say, hey, this is a really tough time. I just wanted to check up on you and see how you're doing. A lot of people are experiencing stress and anxiety. And I just wanted to know, is there anything I can do to help you through this time right now. And you can offer to do visualizations, meditations, breathing techniques. Uh, There's so many things that you can teach over the phone that it really does not have to be super duper complicated. Mm -hmm. So there's that piece right now, right? That exists for everybody right now. The other piece is then using a portal, you know, a video portal, the HIPAA compliant, where you're actually doing one-on-one uh, -on -one sessions with acupuncture, with, uh, patients and you're offering like herbal guidance or things like that. So that's a little bit different, but it's the same line. It's the same trajectory and it requires, it really only requires one thing and that is uh, confidence. You just really have to have the confidence or I should say you should, you know, have the fear because <laughs> everybody's nervous doing this the first time, sure. first 10 times, picking up the phone and trying to like sell yourself is what it feels like. But actually what you're doing is you're inviting your patients to, take advantage of your knowledge and your wisdom and your expertise and your experience. And they need us right now. So we can't just close our doors and just go, you know what, I'll, I'll wait till I'm back and then I'll help you. We need to put ourselves out there in ways we've never done before and invite them to take advantage of what we have to offer. And that's not going to come easily. We, we just have to face the fear and do it anyway. And, and it serves many purposes. It helps them, but it also gets you back into cash flow. And I think that's the most important thing right now is we have to get back. Everybody has to get back into cash flow. Mm -hmm. So in, with, with that cash flow piece, so how would you uh, encourage practitioners to go online, do a training or a class like that and, and, and get cash flow going in their practice? How would they get that flowing? So I'll just say, I just put a video in the Diversify Your Income group called Three Quick Tips to Help You Get Into Cash Flow Right Away. So I would recommend awesome. watching that video, but I'll just kind of briefly say that the first thing you need to have is an offer. So you have to put together something that you know that you can teach your patients that doesn't require you being face-to-face -face in a treatment room. 
And so the three things that I always go back to are uh, some, some sort of med, well, let me back up. You know your patients. So you know what problem they came to you for. So you know if they were in pain or if they have insomnia or if they have diabetes or whatever. But you also know this other added layer that's affecting everybody right now, which is the uncertainty. So you can pretty much guarantee there's stress, there's anxiety, there's worry. So what you can do is create your offer based on knowing that problem and saying, I've got some meditations, I've got a visualization, or I've got a breathing technique, or I've got acupressure points. So, so you can kind of have this little kind of menu of things that is your offer. So that's the first step. And then the second step is then having the courage to call them up on the phone and present your offer and say, I'm going to spend 30 minutes with you. And I just, you know, you can pick any price you want. So don't, don't use this as a guide, but 30 minutes, it's $30. And I'm going to go through and I'm going to teach you some really great techniques to help you manage stress during this time. And then afterward, make sure that you offer them supplements or herbs or anything that you think would, that they could purchase and take it home that would help with whatever the problem is and then reschedule them. Say, let's follow up next week for another 30 minutes so that you continue the care. Mm -hmm. So to me, the very first thing is your offer, which you know is a solution to their current problem, whatever the problem is going on. But we, we know it's stress, worry, fear, all those kinds of things. And then have the courage to call them up and ask them if they, and invite them rather to take advantage of this, the, these techniques that you can teach them. And then you can also email your list with the same offer, but I think the tendency to do is, is to email and you're never going to get as good of a results with email. You just won't. Picking up the phone is the best way right now to get results. So I want to encourage everyone to just face their fear. Pick a, you know, I tell them, make a list of people and pick the ones that you kind of have the best relationship with and you think they'd really be excited about this and just call them. Write a script practice it first and pick up the phone and call and say, Hey, you know, you can let them know this is new to me. I'm trying out this new thing here, but I really feel like I want to be able to help you. So let's see if we can figure this out together. Right. I mean, it doesn't have to be anything super in depth. It could just be like, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I know we're going through some rough times right now. We're all stressed out. We're all anxious. I want to let you know that we're here for you. Um, I've got a class coming up. I have a workshop coming up and I'm just checking in with you and your family. And that's really it. And then like, take it from there. And like what you said, you know, I talk about like the, the A, B and C patients, A patients being the ones that you love that you want to oh, yeah. clone your patients of entirely, you know, your practice. Mm -hmm. Those are the patients you reach out to first. Like you said, like, like identify that list of people that you love, that love you, that when you see them on your schedule, like your energy resonates higher, but as opposed right. to the C patients, they're like the ones that kind of drag your chi down um, when, you know, reach out to them later on because if you know the confidence piece is a huge piece for a lot of practitioners mm -hmm. and you know with that being said start with the easy the low-hanging fruit which are the people that you that already know you they already like you they already trust you and they, right. they already really love you and you got a good resonant connection with so yeah thank you for that um as far as email i doubt there's so much information right now that we could be putting out on a regular basis with our with our patient base uh, so i definitely would encourage um, all practitioners now, those of you that have closed your practice, there is time to dive into this world of tech and things that we've been putting out um, on the back burner to really tap into to, to those, those needs to help us, again, stay in top of mind awareness uh, with right. our patients. Um, uh, well, one thing about that is I don't want to discourage people from emailing. In fact, now is the time to shore up your email list. If you're not mm. already collecting email addresses, now is the time to get that tech in place because mm -hmm. that is 100% essential right now. Absolutely. So, you know, calling is number one. Emailing is number two. I think the third way to be in touch with your community is uh, like Facebook Live mm, or yeah. YouTube Live or just getting your face literally out there and doing that. I've, I know... Some people who are letting their patients know that they're on their business page every day from, you know, 12 to 1 or 9 to 10 or whatever, they're just going to take an hour. And with that consistency, 
be present out there and just be offering a little bit of information. You don't have to be, you know, it doesn't have to be a ton of information. And then at the end of every one of those Facebook lives, say I'm taking virtual patients right now, or I'm taking in clients who, you know, wording might be a little bit different because the, the agreement is slightly different now, but just letting people know that you are taking on, you know, doing telehealth or you are uh, meeting people virtually and they can go ahead and schedule with you by calling this number or emailing you or messaging you or something like that. So putting yourself out there either through phone calls, through email or through social media, doing live video kind of stuff. Right. And, and the phone call just be, could just be as simple as, Hey, I'm looking to stay in touch with my patient base now through email. Can we make sure that your email is updated for our records? And that's, just, oh, yes. you know, that should just, that could be the conversation right there. And most people are like, yes, I, you know, because I think it's important to send out policies and updates as they come into the community um, from the government, you know, et cetera, about, about this medicine. And, you know, I don't know if you've seen it, but you, you probably have, but like there's some Chinese medicine is doing some remarkable things for this COVID-19 virus. Uh, John Chen had an amazing video that's been out there um uh, around all the different phases and all the different herbs so we this is could be such a viable time for this medicine to really get out there and to shine in a way that may we may not have originally shine and the thing is too is that once this is over what's going to be on people's awareness is health and immunity and staying as strong and healthy as possible so now yes. is the time to plant the seeds so when this whole thing is behind us people are seeking out practitioners to maintain that health, to maintain that wellness in that way. So That's now's right. the time to plant those seeds for, for that in practice. I totally agree. Totally yeah. agree. Cool. So, um, you know, what advice would you give to practitioners right now that we might not have talked about already? Well, I think my biggest thing would be to um, take care of themselves. So self-care is really important. And I, I also will add to this piece, it's okay to have meltdowns. <laughs> like yeah. we're human, we're human. And it's okay. This is a very stressful time. You know, when finances are involved, it just takes everything to the next level. So know that it's okay to be human, have your meltdown, but pick yourself up, take care of yourself. What's the simple things that you would advise your patients to do? get good sleep, eat healthily as possible, um, drink water, you know, get, get some activity, some exercise in. So those are kind of just like the four core things. Take care of yourself. Um, the other piece is see where you can use this as an opportunity to expand your services so that you're communicating with your patients in the web-based environment. You know, I, the, obviously I'm biased, but I believe once we come out of here, if you have your, your digital uh, way of communicating with patients set up, your practice is going to completely change. You're not going to go back to the old way because you're now going to have this other option for people. And what that means is you now have access to people who are not just in your local environment. You have access to people who are outside. Now, they may have to be in the same state because of licensing and what your scope of practice is, but that means they can be, you know, hundreds of miles away, depending on how big your state is, but they can be far away and still access you and your information. So I think those are the three things I would say is self-care, make sure that you're, it's okay to have a meltdown, but pick yourself up and then go ahead and invest your time and energy in learning how to add additional streams of income leveraging the internet. Right. And I think that's important, that whole self-care piece, because this is our time to rise up as leaders in the industry and in the community here because of the power of this medicine. And we can't do it yeah. if we're not feeling grounded and balanced and healthy in our own right. Um, yes. And I, I think another piece to this, too, is uh, that you sort of touched on is, is that I think is really important uh, is to make sure that you maintain viability and top of mind awareness um, in social media, um, yeah. Facebook lives, but also putting positive, creative, inspirational things on Facebook pages and responding to their patients and reaching out to their patients in those ways as well, I think is important because people right now, they are sitting there with their phones on their laps, <laughs> on the couch, um, yeah. A lot of the time, uh, and then they're just they're scrolling through those um, those resources right now. Right, 
Uh, I agree. And this is something that I'm learning to do. Mm -hmm. You know, I've never done Facebook Live in my uh, uh, in my clinic business page. I've done it in my acupuncture stuff, but not in my business page. And so it's something that I'm learning to do too. So there's room for everybody to learn something new and step out of our comfort zone and just try things and know that the first is the worst. You know, the first time you do something, it's just going to suck. It's going to feel crappy. And the second time it'll feel crappy too. And the third, it probably will too, but that's okay. Cause you just kind of get practice with it. And, and uh, you just got to step outside that comfort zone and give yourself a chance to feel like a fool but trust me, your patients need you. They need to see you and they want to see you. So they won't think you're a fool at all. They'll be so grateful to you. Yeah, and I think that's a really important point there, Lisa, is that, um, you know, keep trying over and over again it, it, and it gets better, it gets easier. And we're probably judging ourselves more so than our patients would be judging us. They would just be so grateful, one, to maybe see your happy, smiling face, you know, on a Facebook Live and interact with you, and also to be receiving whatever information or content or inspirational thoughts that you're sharing with them. So, you know, again, right. yeah, I mean, like, you're, you know, the first is worse, like you said, but keep, like, <laughs> don't, just because it's terrible and, 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 and it hits a brick wall, don't stop doing it. You know, keep right. on keeping on. So, and, and keep it simple. Keep it simple because yeah. I know a lot of times people will ask me about the tech, but there's so much you can do just with your phone. You don't mm -hmm. have to mm -hmm. invest a lot of money in the technology right now. I mean, just start with what you have, start where you are, and then, and you, then you can increase and add stuff as you get, as you get going. Awesome. Well, um, is there anything else that I should have asked you or that you want to contribute that I, that I, that you want to share right now? No, I think that if other, if, um, people watching this have questions, just direct them to wherever they could, you know, I don't know where you're going to post this Jeffrey, but I'm happy to answer questions if people have them. I would invite them to join the diversify your income group. And I have, uh, my healthy business tech.com website is just getting started, but there's a, there's a page there where you can keep in touch with me as I get things going there. So I'm Great. excited to, to help bring out the opportunities to us during this time, even though it feels, you know, it feels just uh, there's a question mark as to what's going to happen next. And I think that we can all help each other through it. Right. But that question mark is there. We're not sure what's going to happen in the next couple of months. But the thing is that we do know what's going to happen is we're going to come through this. Okay. Yes. So we're going to absolutely come through it. Things are going to be absolutely. different. Absolutely. But there's going to be, there is a silver lining somewhere out there, but don't get under and stay under a rock. Your community needs you. And, and uh, you know, your, our community needs you. <laughs> our, pay, our, our client's community needs Everyone who's listening to this is needed out there right now um, to help um, abate any of the fear and the anxiety that's out there. This medicine is awesome and super powerful. Right. So share. And, and you, you have the most important ingredient, and that's the furry medicine. I just heard a dog barking. So yeah, that's... We all can, <laughs> we all can, can uh, get some wisdom from our animals, our pets, our furry family right now. I think they show mm. us, you know, just keep calm and carry on that whole thing of, you know, we're all going to get through this. It's true. Yep. Yep. Uh, they're, they're unfazed. They wake up every day right. with a smile and a, and a wag and right. uh, they just want to play ball. All he wants to do is go outside <laughs> and fetch, 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 fetch. And we're like, oh my God, what herbs do I have? What point should I rub? Should I mock some my stomach 36 again? <laughs> <So>. <laughs> So yeah, yes, yeah, thank you for that reminder. Yes, let's let's listen to our pets and tap into yes. that 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 doggy chi. That's right. Okay, thank you, Lisa Hanfaletti, for uh, joining me here today. Diversify your income streams. You could check it out on Facebook. Um, also, her new website that she's putting up is called uh, Health Business Tech. It's going to be awesome for those of you acupuncturists who just might be a little tech unsavvy right that is an awesome thing to tap into and also of course what you started and where i initially know you from is the acupuncture business academy which is a facebook group about growing your practice online thank you lisa for joining me here today and for sharing your insights and your wisdom with everybody who's listening and or watching my pleasure jeffrey thank you for everything you do for us in the community Absolutely. I'm glad that we can be able to support each other in these times and be able to provide um, resources like we're doing right now. Right. Thank you. Thank you.